if you think about it, like if someone's going to copy in and bridge in 10 million or 20 million of bid side support for Hex because that's what's existing on the ETH chain, mm -hmm. they want the prices to be quite the same. Mm -hmm. And I, I heard a rumor that some people think that there's going to be cheap pulse in the pulse. I don't understand that to me. Personally, Who? Who? I, I am the guy going, please, all of you move to pulse so I can buy the cheap Ethereum Hex. Right. Like, like that's I what I want. I don't get it. Like, who's going to sell you a cheap? So if you yep. if you get in if you get in before the fork, you're already getting an e hex and a p hex, mm -hmm. which we're just calling hex. But for this example, I'm going to use EMP. But generally, I'll just call the p hex hex. And it's hex. It exactly. is. It is hex. Yep. Absolutely, I agree with that. So, well, I'll just say hex on the Pulse network and hex on the ETH network. Okay. So. If you get in before the fork, you're getting hex on the ETH network, hex on the Pulse network, and if you don't like the hex on the ETH network, you can sell that for hex on the Pulse network. And so you're going to end up with like two hex on the Pulse network if you get in before the fork. Yep. But then if you get in after the fork, you're just getting one. Yep. So even even if you thought that it was like if you think Pulse on if you think hex on the Pulse network is going to go up. Well, then, isn't the best time to buy it before it goes right up? Right now, while it's is, in a dip on the Ethereum network? Right? Yeah. yeah. I, so this this concept that you're somehow going to get cheap pulls, I think it comes from the idea that we're going to launch at zero, but they don't understand that the next tick, the next price, changes everything. it ain't going to be a little Sets bit more than zero. Sets all of the markets. It's going to be a lot more than zero. Yep. Yeah. So, yep. like, yeah, you can trade at zero, but your next tick is yep. going to be a lot more than zero. Well, and then especially with all the different liquidity pools, it's it's got to affect the ratios of everything on the network. Right. So, like, do you think that if someone copies over 10 or 20 million of USDC bridged in, that they're going to, I mean, copy over is not the right word, but they're yeah, like, but oh, to bridge well, it in. You, you, well, okay, this value is like 10 or 20. So then if you want it to be equal, then you put 10 or 20 there. Do you think that that entity or person that would be adding that is going to add it at dumb price? And they're just going to be wouldn't. like, you're going to be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to, it doesn't make sense. You would add it yep. at the same level, I would think. Yeah, you I would. I mean, so. It, it makes sense to me, and especially as the bridge exists, so that right. you can, because there's going to be that arbitrage opportunity. Yeah, if, if, you, you, if one you do thing, it wrong, someone's going to arbit and make absolutely. money. Absolutely. And then they're yeah. going to bring it to parity, and they're right. going to make money off exactly. of your bad trade. Exactly. So, Which is why I you have the bot that. in the first place.